make some sopanchos today. So we've got some rice going, six cups um, prepared rice for our family. So two cups um, dry plus four cups of water. And I've peeled up some potatoes that I'm going to cut um, so we can fry those up. And I'll show you along the way what we're going to do. All right, so I've got my potatoes cut, um, kind of thick. You don't want them too thin, not McDonald's fries, but not as big as, quite as big as steak fries, but you want them kind of thick. Um, my grease is heating up so we can um, fry those or my oil. And I've got some tomato and onion here that I'm gonna chop up to make um, a diced salad. So it's just tomato and onion with a little bit of salt and uh, red wine vinegar. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Um, so I've seed, poured, and diced my tomatoes and half of my onion. So I've got here just my diced tomato and onion. We're going to add just a little bit of salt and some red wine vinegar. And we're going to toss that and let that sit aside until we're finished with everything. This will serve with the sil pancho. Um, I love it. It's one of my favorite, uh, I guess, condiments or, or sides with this. I could eat it by itself. All right, we are getting ready to bread and smash our chicken into the silpanchos. I've got some breadcrumbs, some garlic powder, some parsley, and some onion powder. Um, now, generally in Bolivia, they mainly just use breadcrumbs, a little salt, um, parsley as well. Uh, but I think it tastes better with a little onion powder and garlic powder. Alright, so I have my breadcrumbs mixed with seasoning. I've cut my chicken into some pieces. Um, they all need to be about this size. It doesn't matter if they're straight or um, triangular. <laughs> um, however, they need to just basically about this much mass or matter. You want this much of a chunk. You're going to be pounding it out into a circle anyway. Um, so I'm using to pound it out. You can use a meat tenderizer. I'm going to use this, um, this pestle from my mortar and pestle. I like that it's heavy um, and it just it, it works great for not necessarily getting the breadcrumbs stuck in it and everything so I'm gonna be pounding it out and you'll get some pictures of that in a second so you want to pound it out as thin as you can get it without it breaking apart as you run out of breadcrumbs, you just add more to it. You want to make sure that it's not losing pieces. Feel around for any places that you think need to be uh, uh, hammered out a little bit more. You want it as evenly um, width as possible all across it so that it cooks even. Um, but basically, you just want a really thin piece of chicken like this um, with the breading um, basically pounded into it. Um, so I'm going to finish out these, and I'll show you um, what they look like at the end and how we get them in the skillet. Okay, so I finished um, pounding out my chicken. Um, you'll see I've only used, um, all the chicken that I used today was just two uh, pieces of chicken breast fillets. Um, so just two um, chicken breast halves. And each one you get it thin enough, and I've made about six or seven of these. Uh, they'll go a pretty long way. So one thing about Bolivia is lots of carbs and making your meat go a long way. Um, so anyway, I'm about to get the skillet ready so I can fry these up and I'll show you some more things that we, other components that we'll be put in this dish. Um, it seems like a lot of steps and a lot of different things, but I promise you it's worth it in the end. Alright, so I've got my skillet here. Oil's getting hot. I've got two. I've got one to fry eggs in and one to fry the sopanchos in. I've got my sopanchos here and this is where I'll put them when they're cooked. Here I'll put my fried eggs and I'll show you a little bit 
of how to do each of those once the, the oil is hot enough to start. All right, so you wanna crack your egg in, make sure not to break the yolk, and you don't wanna cook it on too high of a heat. You want it high enough to where it starts cooking like this when it comes in. Um, as it's frying, um, you wanna take some of this hot oil and just kind of scoop it over the top. The idea is not ever to, to flip the egg. You wanna keep that yolk um, a little bit runny. Most of the people in Bolivia, they like their yolk more cooked. Um, I'm from Mississippi and I live in Alabama. I like my yolk a little bit more runny. Um, so you just keep slopping that oil, that hot oil. You can turn it about if you need to. Just be careful not to break your yolk and just keep getting the oil over it. And that'll help you cook the top. A nice white. Alright, so finished frying them up. We've got our plate here with rice, our fried potato, our supancho, a fried egg on top, and we're going to finish it off with this um, salad that we made with red wine vinegar, onion, and tomato chopped up. We're just going to put that on top and enjoy, and it is delicious.